Hey guys, how are you? Sorry I didn't get a video up last week. I came down with the flu. It was awful. If any of you have the flu or just got over the flu, I'm so sorry. I know how much it sucks. So I didn't get up the video that I wanted to get up for you guys last week because, like I said, I had the flu. I couldn't do anything. So today I'm going to share the video that I was going to share last week. It is all me getting prepped and ready for my daughter's birthday and some of her birthday celebration. I know I talked about it in my last Dollar Tree haul and shop with me that I was getting things ready for it. So I did a little video with it and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's backtrack to last week well like a week and a couple days ago when I was getting everything ready for my daughter's birthday don't mind my wet hair I don't have time to dry it today because today is my daughter's birthday well when you're watching this obviously it will have already happen but this is her birthday weekend which she is so excited about so she's at school right now it's a Friday she has four friends coming over and they're going to do a sleepover, but first we are going to take them to a place called Andretti. It has like go-karts and video games and bowling and all that stuff. So I need to get a few little decorations up around the house. I'm going to take my little winter hot chocolate bar down and just move my coffee area over to the counter and then turn this into like a little dessert treat area where I'll put her cake and some cupcakes and um, also I, I baked cupcakes. I am no baker by any means. I personally like homemade cupcakes better than store-bought cupcakes or like ones from the grocery store and Lennon wanted to try these Funfetti cupcakes. So I love Funfetti. Do any of you guys like Funfetti? Oh my God, it's so not good for you, but oh, so good. Anyway, so I made some for her last week so she could try them. She's like, oh my gosh, I want these as my birthday cupcakes. So I made those last night. I haven't iced them yet. I'm going to ice them today and I'm gonna bake some chocolate chip cookies, not like ones from scratch, ones that are already like, I just gotta lay the dough on the thing. I'm gonna decorate her room just a little bit as well. So I figured you guys could keep me company. We could hang out and I could pull this little birthday shindig together that she is so excited about. So this is the first time she's having like multiple people spend the night at one time, so we've got to get this pulled together. First, I'm going to get the chocolate chip cookies going though, so I can get those baked. Also, I need to go ahead and get these ice, these cupcakes ice. They have cooled and everything. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I'm not the best at getting them super even, but I tried my best. Um, oh wait, I shouldn't put those there. That's where the coffee is going to go. I gotta get this oven preheated. Boom. So I have about four hours to pull all this together. I got some party stuff from Five Below yesterday and a couple things from Dollar Tree. I'll share the stuff I got from Five Below. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a shop with me at Five Below next week. There were so many cute things at Five Below. I didn't have time to like really, really look, but just like the couple things I saw browsing that weren't birthday party stuff related, just like everyday stuff. So many cute things. So I'm definitely stay tuned for that. I gotta start getting this going. My intention was yesterday when I went to Five Below to get the party stuff, I was going to go ahead and just do a shop with me there. But your girl ran out of time. I do not have time for that. I was like, oh, I gotta just focus on linen stuff right now. I'm gonna wash my hands. I saved one piece of cookie dough for me because I can't not eat a piece of cookie dough. Are you guys the same way? Mmm. Mmm. I love cookie dough. While the oven is preheating, let's start moving the stuff from my little hot cocoa coffee bar over. Ah! Oh my god! Here goes the dog's water bowl. Sorry, Alan Bear. So, do you guys have any big plans? or this weekend, or by the time when you watch this, did you do anything fun last weekend that was really exciting? Let me know. Oh, I'm so sad to see like this, the last bit of Christmassy, wintry feels go away. Time to put the cookies in.
Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. I've got my new coffee mugs that I shared at my Dollar Tree haul. I'm gonna get some more. I haven't gotten some more yet, but uh, I just love these so much. So cute. Look at this coffee mug that my husband got me and my daughter got me for Christmas. A little pregnant lady. She's got a little belly button. And their favorite part, she's got a little butt crack. <laughs> keep my hair down to air dry but I don't got time for my hair to be down right now I need it up that'll do so somewhere I have like this gold sequin thing that I use as a tablecloth not tablecloth I just use this decoration sometimes for different kind of parties whatever I've had it forever uh, I can't find it I have no idea so I have this other little gold tablecloth and then this like I don't know whatever this is like a lacy kind of thing i'm gonna layer these two um to put overneath overneath that is not a word but over this dessert area um the stuff that i got all the happy birthday stuff is like gold oh dishwasher's done yay okay this probably could have been ironed but come on i don't have to iron this we'll make it work Oh, I know what I'll do. What if I just pull it back and then let it hang low back there? That, right, maybe? If I come up with some random extra time, I'll pull it forward, steam it. If not, this will be how we do it. Okay, so this is all the little decoration stuff that I have. And, okay, this is going to go, look, these are all from Five Below, except for these, these are from Dollar Tree. Look how cute those little pom-pom things are. Those were Dollar Tree, that's Five Below. Anything else from Dollar Tree here? Um, I thought I had more from Dollar Tree, but that seems, oh, and I have a nine. This, that's what I have. I have this nine, so I think, this is going this is going to go in her room. Then that three of these will go in her room. Let's just take these out for now. Okay, and let's take out this happy birthday. This was $3.50 at um Five Below. And on Amazon, I almost bought one on Amazon first, and it was like $7.50. So way better deal at Five Below. Oh my god, are they individual letter? No, no. <gasps> oh, Wait a second. I thought this was just all one like thing that connected. This is A, way bigger than I thought this would be. So, I don't even know. Look how big this one letter is. Holy crap. What am I gonna do? Oh my God, where's my husband when I need him? gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. What mothers do for their children, right? Am I right? <gasps> no, no, it gotta stay inflated. Why is this not staying inflated? Oh no. That was it. Stuck it too far in. Don't stick it too far. This is gonna be huge. Look how big these letters are. Did it say how big this is? No, would you assume like that is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be? Oh my goodness. Thinking I should have done this last night. 
while I was watching the Aaron Hernandez documentary. Have you guys seen it? It just came out on Netflix. That is crazy. So crazy. Finally got them all done. Now I've got to string them together. Oh my goodness. All right, let, let's just get happy on here. Okay, so I got happy, strung. Now I'm gonna string birthday. This color gold mixed with this color gold was kind of driving me crazy, so I looked a little harder. I found my sequin thing, so I was thinking it was more gold, like the letters. It's not, it's like kind of almost the same kind of gold as the tablecloth that's already on there. So, I don't know if I'm gonna use it now. But at least I found it, I might use it, I don't know, we'll see. This can be kind of a tedious task, I've realized, stringing these through. So, brought you on the floor with me so we could do this together on the floor and get birthday strong. I don't know why I honestly thought this came like already like together that you just blow it up and then I don't know magically the whole word just blew up that would have been so much nicer while we're sitting here what is the crate not that this is crazy this is like a typical birthday thing you know but like what for those of you that have kids the, watch me spell birthday wrong. <laughs> for those of you that have kids, what is the craziest thing you've done for your child for like a birthday or something like that? Let me know down below. I'd be really curious. Or like not even just crazy, like the biggest or most extravagant. One year, I think she was turning, hell, she's turning nine now. So was it so when she turned seven? My husband and I, she wanted to see snow so bad. Some of you may remember, because I was on YouTube then. And, um, hold on, I gotta reach the tea. Ooh. And we surprised her. We were able to like plan a whole trip to Colorado to tr hopefully see snow. That was like our big thing. We, was, we were hoping that it would snow while we were there. And, um, and so we, she had never been on a plane before actually never really been out of the state before and we managed to keep it a secret until the morning of her birthday and or the morning that we were leaving and we told oh no what happened and we then told her that we were getting on an airplane and going to Colorado to go see snow oh my gosh she was so excited that was such a special um, birthday to share with her that was and it ended up snowing one day so it worked out Perfectly. Let me know your stories down below. This birthday was all her idea. She wanted to do the whole slumber party thing and arcade thing. I did when I found that sequin um, tablecloth. I also found another little happy birthday banner that I had had that's not like balloon like this. But if I don't have enough time, I'll just use that little banner in her room. I'm doing okay on time. I got it all on the string. I know it doesn't seem like a very hard task. Right now it felt very difficult. My wall's not big enough. I'm gonna have to play around with this. Oh, I wish my husband were here. Scoot this out. Get my little ladder. Oh my gosh. I give up with that thing for here. It's not a big enough space. I'm gonna use that in Lennon's room. I am, and this one matches better anyways. Thank God I had this on hand. Oh my gosh. So this is happy birthday. Fits much better. This is what we're going with. 
Good gracious, I was about to lose it, y'all. Whew, okay you guys, I was not able to keep filming me doing stuff. It was taking too long to move around the camera and honestly, I just got completely overwhelmed. Like, <laughs> I was blowing up one of these confetti balloons and it completely popped in my face. Confetti went everywhere. It was a mess. But I wanted to show you real quick, my daughter's about to get home from school, so I just wanted to show you what I did. It's not a ton, but I think she's gonna like it. Let's start with the little dessert area that she wanted. So this is the little area. I did the little balloon, confetti balloons up there, then some little confetti poppers. That happy birthday sign ended up working way better than that other one. I'll show you what I did with the other ones. I ended up changing this to the gold sequin, obviously, and here are the chocolate chip cookies. These my daughter loves, and she just wanted some of those in, they're like little Debbies. She wanted some of those in there. I just decided to bring the marshmallows, my leftover marshmallows over here for decoration. Here are the cupcakes. I am no pro baker, icing person, anything like that, but I think they're gonna taste good and you know, they're made with love. And so is this cake. In the past, we always get her like fancy birthday cakes and they have some theme to them and all that stuff, but she never really likes the taste of it. She doesn't like the taste of fondant and she loves the taste of like, just a, a chocolate cake, like a homemade chocolate cake. So my cousin and my aunt made her this chocolate cake. So I got this little nine to put in it and I also have some gold um, candles to put in it. These are the little napkins and plates that I got from, what's it called, what's it called, Five Below. So originally Lennon wanted an FGTV cake. If you don't know what FGTV is, they are a family here on YouTube that she's been obsessed with for years. And they are just like, they do a lot of video game stuff. I don't know, they're pretty funny. Instead of getting a full on FGTV cake made, I was like Googling and I found this like edible icing little thing that you put on top of it. Hold on, I'll show you. So they say not to put this on till the very end. So this is like an edible icing and it just, you could customize it and it just obviously says happy ninth birthday, Lennon. It also said in the instructions, don't put it on more than two hours before you're ready to do the cake because I don't know, it can like do something. And then also it said it works better if it's light frosting. Obviously it's a chocolate cake with chocolate frosting, but that's what my daughter wanted. So we'll see how this turned out. I think it was like $22, um, obviously, but we made the cupcakes and we made the cake. So we didn't have to spend too much money on that. So I figured try this out, she wanted it. And you literally just peel it off and like place it right on the cake. Here are the little gift baskets that I ended up making that I shared in my Dollar Tree shop with me and the haul and I just added some Dollar Tree birthday balloons right there. Here's the front door, I put a little happy birthday balloon on the front door and then I wasn't gonna do anything over here but I had that extra happy birthday so I ended up adding that over here and the nine, it's kind of driving me crazy that the nine gold one, like the nine, is from Dollar Tree. The happy birthday is from Five Below and the golds are obviously a little bit different, but I'm not gonna let it bother me too much. I'm gonna keep it there. It works good enough. She'll love it. That's what matters. And then in her bedroom, we redid her bedroom for her birthday and I added the big happy birthday right here above her desk. She also got a new ceiling fan for her birthday. I don't know if you can it's on, it's super bright. It's like a little chandelier and ceiling fan. This room used to be the room that I filmed a lot of my Dollar Tree hauls in, and it was going to be the baby's room. She decided that she wanted to have this room instead, and then the baby in her old room, which kind of works out, this one's a little bit further away from us anyways, so the baby's room being a little bit closer works. So she got rid of her bunk beds. She has the bed that she used to have that I used to film on. That is back. She wanted to make her room more into a big kid feel and I think we achieved it. She loves it. It's packed full of stuff. She's got so much stuff, but it's all stuff that makes her really happy. So that's all that matters, right? She also got a new door handle for her birthday. I'm going to paint these doors at some point soon. It's on my list. I got done just in the nick of time. She should be getting here any second, but normally I would have done a ton more and put birthday everywhere, but I needed to not go crazy and just do a little bit and have the few areas and I think it's perfect. I think it worked out well. I didn't spend a ton of money and I think her and her friends will love it. So I'm excited for her to see it. Uh... Wow. You like that? Yeah? 
Alan to the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, Alan. He's so excited to see you. Whoa, those cupcakes. They look delicious. You think they turned out good? Yeah. And that's your little nine to put in your cake. Yeah. Look at all those chocolate chip cookies Whoa. and that chocolate cake. Abby was like, Abby was like, does your mom still have the hot chocolate bar? Because I want hot chocolate. Well, guess what? I still have hot chocolate. It's just good. not in there anymore. Are you look good, Lennon? Yeah. You like that? You like that? You have no idea how difficult that was for mommy. I tried to do that above the coffee bar at first, well, your dessert bar, and it was too big, and it was a mess, and then it took me a lot of times to get it up here, but I did it for you, baby. I did it for you. Where's your birthday pin? Oh, I told you, I set it down. Oh, okay. Are you ready for your birthday party? Yeah! <laughs> Crazy. You're nine. Well, Almost. two days. Two days. Two days. How does it feel to be nine years old? Crazy. Crazy, do you feel like you've been on this earth for nine years? Do you remember being in mommy's belly? No. No. We have the beds all set up. There's literally no room in here. Do you have your breakfast? Yeah, we're starting on. Do you like your breakfast buffet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you wanna? I'll help you get that out. What did you think of your sleepover? It was awesome. Did you have so much fun? Mm -hmm. Thank you for being such a good girl. You were a very good host. Hostess. You were the hostess with the mostess.
Birthday is officially oh. over. Still gonna be nine for the rest of the year. Yep, for the rest of the year. Now we just get to pop all the balloons. Oh, that sounds fun. 